Hello guys, hope you're doing well and as always if you are new to my channel, I would request you to subscribe to my channel so that you shall be able to watch all my latest engineering videos. Thank you. Alright, the problem at our hand today is that we have a 20 Newton horizontal force applied perpendicular to the handle of the socket wrench. Okay, so this is the handle of the socket wrench and this force is making an angle of 90 degree, 90 degrees with this uh, handle of the socket wrench. Determine the magnitude and the coordinate direction angles of the moment created by this force about point O. Okay. What is the moment that is created by this force about this point O? Okay. Now first of all, we have to basically uh, see uh, this three-dimensional picture very clearly and understand what is he trying to say. Okay. The most important point is that this is the origin whose coordinates are 0, 0, 0, okay. And this force, remember, which is 20 Newton, is not lying, uh, make, uh, making any angle directly with the y-axis, but it is behind the y-axis. This force and this handle is behind the y-axis, okay. It is not along the y-axis. And since it is behind by how much? By an angle of 15 degrees, okay. If you look at this, uh, FBD over here is basically it is behind by an angle of 15 degrees with the y-axis. This is very important to understand and if we uh, consider this triangle over here which is this triangle okay and we say this is 15 degrees and then uh, we say there is another angle uh, which is uh, phi which is based between the y-axis and along the line of action of this 20 Newton force is phi okay and here 90 degrees is this point it is this point which is 90 degrees okay now if you look at it very clearly we can also say that this force is basically lying along the xy plane we can assume that it is lying along the xy plane so if the 75 millimeter height is ignored then it will be clear that the 20 newton uh, force lies in the xy plane and the line of action okay uh, matters a lot okay and line of action is basically uh, making an angle of 5 degrees with the y-axis okay he says that if we take this 20 newton force along the line of action through principle of transmissibility it will be making an angle of 5 degrees okay uh, so if we basically move this along towards the y-axis certainly it is not now right now because it is making an angle 15 degrees but if we do it it will be making an angle of phi with the y-axis okay and we are also assuming that this force is basically lying in the xy plane okay now if you want to calculate uh, this assumption is very important if you want to first basically start by calculating the coordinates of this point a okay in order to calculate the coordinates of point a origin is 0 0 0 and this point a if you look at it uh, from this angle okay this is 15 degrees okay so one of the components of this point A will basically be uh, by 15 degrees it, uh, along the y-axis and one component will be along the x-axis. Okay, in front of 15 degrees there will be uh, what you can say it will be sine and along the 15 it will be cos. Okay, so here he says that uh, 200 sine 15 which is this basically uh, axis is basically 200 sine 15 and this axis is along the x-axis so 200 sine 15 i what about this component which is along the y-axis it is 200 cos 15 j and again if you look at this point a over here not the force the point a from the origin is making a height of 75 degrees okay this is 75 okay and then we basically calculate uh, from o to from o to point a we can take a position vector Okay, from point O to point A, we can take a position vector. O is 0, 0, 0 and basically the coordinates of the A is basically here right now. So, the position vector will be the coordinates of the A minus the coordinates of the origin. So, simply it will be uh, basically 200 sin 15i plus 200 cos 15j and 75k which is this thing. So, once RO is calculated, now we go to the point force which is uh, F, okay. And uh, we already know for the F, uh, if you look at it here, this is actually F is equal to, this is F is equal to, uh, 
basically he says minus f sin 75 and uh, plus f cos for 75 and 0 k okay so if you look at it very clearly again we have already told you this force which is lying at point a if we take this force and through principle of transmissibility and it touches the y axis the angle will be uh, phi we can very easily calculate what will be phi this is phi this is 90 and we know uh, this angle will be 15 so if we minus 90 degrees from the 15 degrees okay so what we will get we will get 75 degrees okay so we also calculated now this angle as 75 degrees now if you look at this picture over here you see this uh, if we take it here and then we can and this angle is 75 there will be uh, through head to tail rule method of triangular vector addition this component and this component if added this will be the resultant okay i have just made it magnified for you so that it will not be a difficulty for you okay so from here this is our resultant force touching at this point making an angle of 75 degrees okay this angle is basically this angle this angle is going to be how much it is 75 degrees okay and uh, this this one if you look at it this angle is 75 degrees okay and which is over here okay this is over here 75 so you can see it will have two components it will have two components one component will be basically this one you can see this line and the other component will be will be this one if you look at it it will be this component it will be this component which is along the y axis this component is along the x axis and you know this angle is uh, 75 degrees and this is the resultant okay so if you look at it very clearly uh, one of the components because this is how much 75 degrees okay this is this is basically if you can see this is how much this is 75 degrees so uh, just opposite you know this is 75 degrees so the perpendicular will be and we know the force is 20 newtons so just of uh, this perpendicular component and this base component can easily be calculated okay and here you can see he has calculated it as uh, f sine 75 f is actually 20 newton okay so 20 sine 75 i okay so this is 75 opposite to theta is always going to be the sine component okay so this is f sine 75 and uh, why there is a uh, minus sign over here because you know it very clearly that uh, just okay you know it very clearly that uh, this is going to be our sign this is going to be our cos so f uh, he says that uh, this is f sine 75 i with the negative sign you see the direction of this force is there so one component direction will be uh, basically this one and this see, see the direction of the red line it is towards the negative x axis and what about uh, our other component which is this one okay this one this component if you look at it it is along the positive y axis so now the situation is clear and uh, so you can see this is minus f sine 75 which is this component and the other component is f cos 75 which is this component and this is our 75 degrees theta okay and again as we have assumed that this force is actually lying in the we have taken an assumption in the x y plane it has got nothing to do with z so the z component is zero okay so once now this is done we have got our r o a and we have got our f over here and we know uh, the f components is basically 20 sine 75 20 cos 75 we can put it in the determinant and uh, i j k r x r y r z f x f y f z and we calculate our movement as minus 0.382 i minus 0.1488 j plus 3.995 k 
so we have once we have this we can calculate the resultant these are the components of the movement along ijk and the resultant movement will be m not x i the whole square plus m not y the whole square plus m z the whole square in the square root so we get our resultant moment as 4.267 newton meter other target is he wants uh, the direction cosines we, we once we have the resultant moment and the components we can calculate the direction cosines very very easily and uh, we can say that here that uh, the unit vector of the moment will be m not vector m not divided by m not we get calculate these uh, unit vectors uh, which is uh, minus 0.09 i minus 0.339 j and uh, basically plus 0.0936 k okay and if we take uh, the inverse this, this is cos where this is going to be uh, cos alpha that you know this is going to be cos beta okay this is going to be our cos alpha cos beta and cos gamma and you take the respective inverses you will get alpha equals to 95.2 degrees beta equals to 109.8 degrees and gamma gamma over here is 20.6 degrees so it was a very uh, good uh, problem in which you have to apply some concepts we have to apply some assumptions so that is why i have decided to make a video for this kind of a problem for you guys and uh, i hope uh, this solution will assist you in your future studies thank you very much and you have a wonderful day bye